Oh, all right, guys. Uh, welcome back to another post-workout rant. It's, it's been a while, I'll be honest. Um, COVID's really taken it out of me, and uh, we've just been so busy with bodybuilding content. I haven't really been uh, focusing on on me, you know, like making content about me, um, Sanj, you know. So uh, we just finished up some chest training. Uh, interesting story. So I ended up somehow injuring my right elbow, taking off a tire. I had a flat tire, so I took it off, and uh, and now I got some serious, um, I don't know, tennis elbow or something. Uh, pretty brutal. Really was affecting my workout today. Um, not ideal. Really not ideal. Um, quick plug. So uh, the channel's really been blowing up this last couple days. Uh, over 150 new subscribers, uh, almost overnight. So thank you so much, everyone, all the new people. Uh, if you guys do not know, I am a sponsored athlete. Uh, I'm the Armed Forces Ambassador with Subs.com, a supplement distribution company. So they, it's kind of like GNC, but uh, locally owned, uh, family operated out of Wisconsin, uh, where I'm from. Um, Sanch10 is the discount code if you guys want to check out anything there. Uh, I always wear their swag. Actually, everything I wear, I've made. So uh, if you guys want some custom Sanch made subs apparel, let me know. Um, and my uh, title sponsor for supplementation is goldenaronutrition.com. Uh, that's 15% off code Sanj15 at checkout. If you guys can just go there, buy a $10 tub of creatine monohydrate, uh, it's gonna, you're going to save 15% on that. You're going to spend like $8 or something crazy like that for uh, a month's supply of creatine. So very affordable. And um, for every five orders, I get a, uh, I get like a, a gift package. So that really uh, supports me and uh, helps me save money on my supplements. So um, that's probably one of the number one ways you can do it besides subscribing. Um, training wise, if you guys need help with your training or you guys just want to hear um, what I'm doing, uh, always comment below. Uh, the best way to reach me is on Instagram. DM, DM me on Instagram, Sanj underscore space bodybuilding. Uh, that's the best way you can get a hold of me. But uh, just a quick little uh, post-workout rant. Uh, I guess we'll do a little Olympia special. Um, I was really surprised with how many new people have the title. Uh, we have a new 212. We have a new fitness. We have a new physique, women's physique. Uh, you could see uh, the changing of the title in men's open and in classic physique with Chris versus Breon and uh, Rami looking quite impressive uh some people have him winning which is uh you know a little surprising for me I, I didn't think he was conditioned enough uh to beat out a phil or a brandon um and and here here's the conversation and, and i'll leave you with this brandon's underdeveloped non-conditioned back legs and even in the front they're uh, they're somewhat small weird looking right or phil heath's lower midsection um, with the surgery scar and it just looking a little off. You know, which one bothers you more? Is it the, the small little insertion on Phil's stomach and then the um, just kind of like the weird wateriness? And we haven't seen finals yet, so you really don't know. Or Brandon Curry's consistently under under uh, underdeveloped, undersized, and I mean, frankly, no conditioning in the legs. Um, you shouldn't have an, an Olympian champion that has such a fl um, you know glaring flaws in in underdeveloped areas. Same with Chris Bumstead; he really doesn't have biceps uh, from the front or from the back. It's, I mean, they're it's really not there. So I I, I wanted to take your guys's uh, at, I wanted to take you guys at your word and and, and uh, think that he has biceps from the back shots, but goodness, it's really not there. But before you comment, the C-Bum fans, I was there. I was with you guys when he was first coming up. I was a huge fan. Um, and I'll give him this today. He put on some serious size in his lats. Uh, major improvements, major improvements in conditioning. Um, if he keeps the title, I won't be surprised. Um, but if Breon gets it, I won't be surprised either. They both look very good. Uh, and of course, with finals, everyone's going to look better. So keep that in mind. Do not count out... Uh, rough diesel uh, he's gonna be uh, he's gonna be really biting at the nip or biting at the the nip yeah sure that's it 
uh, he's going to be uh, nipping at the bit for uh, getting in that top two. So um, that would be really surprising. Uh, and then with with uh, with um, Big Romney, I don't know, guys. If he brings it in a little sharper at finals, I could see him making an upset. But uh, let me know in the comment sections below what you guys think. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed a post-workout rant. Uh, moderately ranty, more of just like an information and just putting out my thoughts. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed another episode. This is probably like season three or season four um, of post-workout rant. Probably season three, I think. So uh, I'll figure out what to number after title this one. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you guys want to see more of this specific content. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Mm -hmm.